Hi everyone, so we're going to try and make what I will call a solid of revolution in SOLIDWORKS. This is lesson one. Here we go. To begin with, we will select, I've just opened SOLIDWORKS, we will select to make a new part. Hopefully by now you've had a little bit of a chance to play around with the SOLIDWORKS interface. Note that over here, I have different tabs. The two tabs that we'll be using at this point are features and sketch. Features and sketch. We start on features and you might note that we've got the front plane, the top plane, the right plane. These might seem a bit confusing. We'll look at their purpose a little bit later. To begin with, I just want to square up my view and so I'm on front plane and I use the keys on the keyboard, Control 8, this keyboard shortcut, Control 8, and that gives me a nice square front on view. Next step is I want to go and click on the Sketch tab. And what I want to do is I want to draw a line. This is going to be the line that I do the rotation around. Click on Line. OK. Now I can zoom in and I can zoom out using the scroll wheel on the mouse. I want my shape to start from the origin. The origin is the very centre of the model. It makes things very easy, or much easier, if we start drawing from the origin. So I'll click once, just click once, and let go. And now the line is going to follow me wherever I go, wherever I move my mouse around, the line follows. You notice that as I, uh, you can see just there, the, there's that yellow line next to, to the pencil. That tells me that I'm right, I've drawn a vertical line. I'll click once there. And now the line's following me. It's a bit like I've stepped in chewing gum on my shoe. And uh, my shoe, the chewing gum keeps going with my shoe. So I'll draw a second line here. All right, now that's all I want at the moment. And now the line keeps following me. So to break that, that chewing gum, that, that, that sticky line, Following my pencil tool, I will just press the escape key. Press escape, ESC, top left, escape. All right, great. The next tool that we'll experiment with is the spline tool. That's over here. So I've got the line tool and the spline tool. This one's a little bit tricky and it's good for you to just have a little bit of a play around with it first. <laughs> Um, before you sort of feel, you, you'll need to play around with it first before you feel you've got the control of, of how it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click once here. Just click once and let go. I'm going to click once here and let go. And now as I move my pencil around, you can see that I can control the shape of the curve. All right, so I'll just click here. I'm going to, if I click here, the line still follows me. So if I want to enter right now, I don't want the line to, to keep following me. I want my curve to finish right there on that line. So to do that, I need to double click right there. All right. Um, now, that's not a good line. I want to sort of redo that. So what I'll need to do is I'll need to delete that line. So to delete that line, I need to get my pointer tool back. So notice at the moment the, the, the pointer is a pencil. If I press the escape key once, twice, now it's my pointer. So now what I can do is I can point to that line and that's selected it. And now I can on the, the keyboard, if I just press the del key, delete, delete key, I can delete that line. Let me have another go at that. With the spline tool, I'll click here, here, and there. That'll do me, double click, perfect. Press the escape key, and the escape key again. All right, now what I want to do is just connect these, these parts up here. I want to close this polygon that I've drawn. So I'll click on the line tool. I will draw the line from here. Down to, it didn't quite work, I don't think. Let me try that again. Click on the line tool. Okay, click here. 
and now I want to draw and, and you can see the dotted line at the base okay that tells me that dotted line that's the guideline that I'm on the same horizontal as the origin so I'll click once here and then click over here on the origin again and that should close up my polygon all right and I can see it's all closed up because it's shaded gray Okay, line properties, yes, let's let me tick that. I'm happy with that. Okay, the next thing I want to do is uh, to rotate that. And so I will click on features and I am going to revolve that profile. So I'll call this shape here my profile. I'm going to revolve that shape around this vertical line. Revolve. All right. Now the yellow um, fill that's on the screen at the moment is a preview and I've revolved around a line that I didn't want to revolve around. I want to revolve around this vertical line. So now I'll just click on that line, I'll hover over that vertical line and I'll click on that. And now uh, the program has rotated the profile around that line. I'm happy with that. I can just have a little bit of a look around at it and I will click to OK that. All right. And that's step one. OK, there we go. Now, Control 8, remember, brings my view right in front. Let's have a look at the, these, these planes here. If I was to look at the front plane, OK. Nothing interesting there. But if I was to imagine being a bird and hovering over the top of this shape and looking at it from the bird's eye view, if I was to click on top plane and go control eight, right, that's what the bird sees. So the top plane is the view that you have of the, the solid that you've drawn from the top as you were looking down. If I was to click on right plane and go to control eight and align that view, um, well, because of the nature of this shape, because it's completely round, the right plane and the front plane are identical. All right, that's lesson one.